of the eternal life. If the package of eternal life is not, the package of salvation is not for us, then we have not really, really understand the purpose why our Lord Jesus Christ came and why he died. So we don't really understand it. So the people, so the only thing we need to know, understand is that he died for us and resurrected on the third day. And not only that, he came back again to, to do what? To give us that thing that we are always craving for. That is package of salvation. And the package of salvation includes everything. After death, that, that is that what, we, what we mean by eternal life. Is life after death, the eternal life that Jesus Christ is talking about, or something bigger than that. We need to understand what is the meaning of eternal life. So if we don't understand what Jesus Christ is talking about, about, then or we might something not understand bigger than that. that get it right. So eternal life is just not it's not life after death. It's different from that. Eternal life is bigger than that. Eternal life is bigger than life after death. And let us look at what he has for us on that. Because Jesus himself explained it to us what is meant by eternal life. So if we didn't get it right from what he said, and we are only doing it or looking at it from another perspective, that means that we have already missed it. We have already missed it. Hallelujah. So eternal life is not life after death alone. It's more than that. So it's more than that. To what Christ told us, to what Christ said, that even he gave the interpretation, he told us the real meaning of eternal life. The real meaning of eternal life, our Lord Jesus Christ gave it unto us himself. So if we are preaching something that is true from that, then that means we are already, we don't really understand what is meant by eternal life. That we don't really understand what Christ said when he was talking, when he said, we are going to get eternal life. Hallelujah. So I will keep on repeating that part, that passage of what Christ himself said concerning eternal life. So if we don't really understand it, we need to go back and see, look at our scriptures and see what Christ said concerning eternal life what is meant by eternal life so it's not the preaching of life after death that that christ told us is going to be the eternal life now let us go to the scripture and see what christ called eternal life and what we need to know and what we need to do and how we can use this eternal life then if we have this if you have that if i have it then we know we are candidates or we are sure that we have the eternal life. Hallelujah. So we need to understand it as the way the way he made mention of it to us. It's not just what is on our hearts that matters. It's just what Christ himself said when he made mention of eternal life. And the meaning he gave unto it, how he explained it to us, what eternal life is all about. Hallelujah. So as you're joining us, God bless you. My for come on. Elijah for joining us and my moderator, thank you for joining us and everyone that has joined us for now please give us like, love and share, give us like, love and share it just give us like, love and share it so we are talking about the eternal life what is eternal life what is eternal life according to what Christ told us what is it for you what is it to me is it just because I am I'm now a Christian, I have eternal life, or I still have to have this thing that is said. I have to possess what is said I am going to possess. If we don't have those two things that it made mention of, then we are not yet a candidate for the eternal life. So eternal life is not just life after death. Because I'm a Christian, I'm going to what? I'm going to rejoice with, with Christ, or I'm going to go with Christ. No! Is more than that. Let's go into the scripture and look at what Christ called eternal life. He himself said it unto us that we need to know what the eternal life is all about. And then we are not going to we are going to come back to the scripture itself, where when God, that's John 3, 
16, when God sent his aim to this world that whoever believed in him would have eternal life. And we, so when we look at that, we look at everything that is meant by eternal life. And we, so that we can be able to understand that it's not just when you die and then go, that is eternal life. No, you have to have certain things in this world. Those things that you see, if you don't have those things, you are not yet the candidate of eternal life and you are not going to get eternal life. If you like the father, father Christian father or, mother, or Christian mother, but two things he made mention of, those two things we must possess them. Those two things that he made mention of have to be possessed by us before we can say, yes, I have eternal life. If you don't have those Christ, things, I'm going to go with Christ. No, it's more than what that. Our Lord Jesus Let's said go ahead. by saying, you have to have eternal life. Hallelujah. So as I said earlier on, we want to appreciate everyone that has joined us. Please give us love, like, and share it. Give us love, like, and share it. Uh, this is the last episode on this series of Time of Joy and Gladness. And I want to appreciate everyone that has joined us even on the on the YouTube channel. God bless you for joining us. So what are we looking at today? We are looking at eternal life according to the word of our Lord Jesus Christ. What he called eternal life. Not what we are preaching to be eternal life. What he himself called what he said eternal eternal life is all oh so that is what you need to understand what is internal and we even ask yourself have you asked yourself that question that what is eternal life is it death is it life after death that is that christ meant by saying eternal life or something bigger than that hallelujah so if it is something bigger than that then what are the things that is meant by eternal life amen now let us look at the scriptures as i've said earlier on john chapter 17 jesus gave us the definition the real definition of eternal life the real definition of eternal life john chapter 17 i'm going to read verse 2 and 3 i'm going to read i'm going to read the verse 2 and 3 of john 17 verses 2 and 3 john chapter 17 verses 2 and 3. Let us go by what Jesus himself called to be eternal life. Say that this is eternal life. Eternal life is just is more than just life after death. It's more than that. Hallelujah. So let us go by it. John 17 2. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he should give eternal life to as many as Thou hast given him. So Christ has power to give us eternal life, right? But how do we now get that eternal life? God, Christ can give us eternal life. So, but how do we get it? How do we get it? That is verse 3. And this is life eternal. Hallelujah. So he gave us the determination that, number one, they might know thee, the only true God. Number two, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. Hallelujah. Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. I don't know the definition you have, you have earlier on that eternal life is all about, but Jesus gave us that definition of eternal life. What he meant by eternal life. What is meant by eternal life that he was referring to. So anybody can give interpretation of it as the Spirit gave, it, gave that person a transport as far as Jesus Christ's definition of eternal life is that this is eternal life. That is, that we might know the only one God, true God, then Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. That is what he said, life eternal. That is what gives us eternal life. And let us look at two or three comparisons of that word he said. Let us look at it and see what he said american standard values that and this is life eternal that they that they should know thee the true the only true god whom thou and he in he and him who thou did send even jesus christ that is how american standard version make, give give uh, give it to us then let us look at good news good news said and eternal life means to know you the only true god 
and to know Jesus Christ whom you sent. Hallelujah. That is to know. It's not just, it's not, you, do, you are not going to get life eternal when you don't know them. Yeah. You have to know God, the only true God. Then you have to know Christ. You have to know, not just to say, not just to make, to make mention of him. No, knowing, that's what he said. You have to know. And nothing more. I so that is what Christ is saying that the only definition that he gave to us as eternal life is what that we know only through God then we know Christ hallelujah now let us look at I always like these two version Remedy and passion translation. Now let us look at remedy as he said. Now, eternal life is this. Having an intimate knowledge of you and connection with you. That is the only true God. And me, Jesus Christ, your son, whom you have sent. Hallelujah. I hope some I hope people that this will be hear this uh, on the plaza. So God bless you, man, for joining us. Uh, God bless you. God bless you. Listen very well. I said that now eternal life is this. I don't know what definition you have had about it before, but I'm giving you the definition of Jesus Christ himself. How he explained what eternal life is all about. That eternal life is this. Having an intimate knowledge of you and connection with you. That is, we must know him. Knowledge, we must have knowledge of him. And we must be connected with God and with Jesus Christ. That is only true God and me, Jesus Christ, your son, whom you have sent. That is what eternal life is all about. So if you don't have that intimate knowledge of God and you are not connected with him, then how do you think you can have eternal life? How do you think it's going to be possible? Oh, now let us look at the other version that I love to use so much. That is the Passion Translation. The Passion Translation, TPT. Eternal life means to know and experience you as the only true God. And to know and experience Jesus Christ as the Son whom you have sent. Hallelujah. Can you just give us that more like and love? God bless you, Auntie. God bless you, Mother Celestia. Adekoye, God bless you for joining us. Eternal life. So, if somebody has been giving you that definition, don't worry. No, when you die, you are going to go home and you don't, you don't know him. Hallelujah. That means that we have just missed it. We have just what? Missed it. We have missed it. So, because what they call eternal life is not what people have been preaching, but what he himself called eternal life is that we must know him god the only true god we, we must have a personal experience personal life with him see we must have that personal passion so you must be passionate about him you must experience him so the passion translation that life means to know and experience you as the only true god and to know and experience jesus christ as the only son that you have said. I have said it earlier on that we cannot just continue to stay on King James Version and think the scripture, we understand the scripture very well. No, we need to understand, we need to know more of this thing better than just the scripture. I'm just King James. King James was written for the people of Dao and this, but now we have more interpretation. We have more people explaining what is meant by all these things. Hallelujah. And Jesus Christ himself gave us the definition of what he meant when he said we are going to have eternal life. And that so now let us go from there to John 3:16. John 3:16. If, if, if verse 15 gave us some revelation, then 16 now said we are going to have the eternal life. Now let us look at that. Then from there we move forward to what we are to how do you get eternal life how do you get eternal life jesus has given us his own definition of eternal life which is different from what we have been preaching or what we have been saying to ourselves 
So let us look at John 3 verses 15 and 16. So, and everything that we have been talking from, from uh, series 1 is our knowing in that the only way that we can have all the package of salvation is when Christ himself dwell inside of us. When he when himself dwell in us richly. Hallelujah. And that is 3.15. John 3.15 that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have eternal life. That whosoever believe in him, or believeth in him, depend on what you're going to use, whoever believeth in him should not perish, but have eternal life. And now 16 has said, For God so loved the world, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The everlasting life or eternal life, the two worlds can be interchangeable. It's, it's, it's interchangeable. So we can change the two worlds. Everlasting life or eternal life. The two worlds mean the same thing. So, but what is it to you and what is it to me? How do you have it? Number one, even in this 15, 315 told us that whosoever believe in him should not perish but have eternal life. And that is one aspect. But when Christ was not telling us the real meaning of that eternal life, now said, not only him, but you must first believe in God. Hallelujah. And then you'll be able to understand what he is talking about, which is what we have here. The John 17, verse 3. This is Jesus Christ's prayer. When he was praying, when he was about to go, he prayed for all his disciples and he said this. And he, made, made, he now gave us the real interpretation of what is what eternal life is all about. And eternal life means to know, to know and experience you as the only true God. And to know and experience Jesus Christ as the Son whom you have sent. Hallelujah. I believe God is now interpreting his word unto us. God bless you as you are joining us and giving us that like. God bless you. So as we are saying, so, so eternal life is number one. We have to what? Know and experience God. So knowing God alone is not important, but you have to experience him. Number two, you have to know Christ. Then you have to experience Christ. Those are the things that we have been talking about since the beginning of this series, from series 1 to 14. Today is the last one, and tonight too, we are going to be doing the last seven days, the, the last seven days in, in the night of fulfillment. Hallelujah. But what are the things that Christ is really saying here? Kini ya on kota magba. Ni ba taba on soni pa iye a ene kwe kwe. Jesu fun a re so fun a kwe. Ani la ti mo loron. Ani la tu a ti ni i ba she po kwe lo loron. Oni la ti ni i ba she po. That is what we call experience. Oni la ti ni. Ki kwe be a po ka wu lo si chot chini kon lo mo loron. No. Oni la ti personally when you are at home. Oni la ti ni feelings of God. You must experience him. You must have him. You can see as God be a be ashamed to survive. You must have a way of talking to him, relating with him. You must have a personal experience with him. Not only just going to church alone that makes you to be a Christian, or that will qualify you to have eternal life. Jesus said that is not what is going to qualify you. Your qualification to have eternal life is when you know and experience the only true God. And when you know and experience Jesus Christ, those two qualities, those two qualifications is what will give you eternal life. Without that, is you are just we are just not yet ready to experience what eternal life is all about. Hallelujah. So he, the, Jesus make it known to all of us that He is the one that gives eternal life. 
ohun lo ma fun wa o ni agbara lati fi fun wa sugbon ko to le ki o to le gba so before you can take it before you can become part of you you must first what you must as first know and experience him wa ti koko mo wa de o ye a de ti ye pe ah mo mo olorun mo de ni ibasepopo lo olorun not only that then the second one is that you need to know Christ himself you need to understand that this is Christ this is who Christ is or uh, who is and then you must know him and then experience him hallelujah so now let us look at how god i mean christ gave us that eternal life he gave us that eternal life let's look at john 10 28 john because we will soon be praying and so john 10 28 john 10 28 let's look at what he says there he said that i give to them the gift of eternal life and they will never be lost and no one has power to snatch them out of my hand how can you get a gift from somebody you don't know or somebody you have not experienced and that is what he's saying so eternal life is not just because you are a christian you have you have automatic no 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 eternal life is number one you must know you must know and experience god number two you must know and experience christ that is john 17 verse 3 please always put that don't always quote only john 3 16 alone oh that one is just telling you that if you believe but now jesus christ said that in john 17 3 that to, to have that eternal life you know you have to have that then eternal life is a gift on from him to us but before he can give us those gifts catholicity every lower lord lower jesus and that combo that was a that is what he's telling us so if you go by that 28 and 29 look at what he said in 29 my father has given them to me as his gift he is the mightiest of all and no one has the power to snatch them from my father's care the father and i are one hallelujah only the true eternal life that he was that he came to give unto us we must know and experience god and we must know and experience christ himself and where do we need to experience or know it is all in our heart then from there we are going to get then eternal life because out of that thing that is inside of us so that we can now watch and enjoy what they call the eternal life tiko ba si ninu wa ti jesus ba gbe ninu wa ti ko ba si ninu wa ba o da se feri iya ni pe kun ba o la se feri so iye ai ni pe kun o wa ninu pe gbigbe jesus ninu wa wa pe emi ati baba a die okun let us check it the same thing in remedy in remedy translation let's check just check it in that two translation and see what he said there I heal them from their terminal conditions and I give them eternal life. Hallelujah. <laughs> what is the terminal condition? The terminal condition is what we have when our forefathers sinned. Remember, the Abraham, the Adam, the Adam, so that is where that is where we have terminal condition we are we we inherited terminal condition from adam and now christ came to give us eternal life and the eternal life is said that that's why i said that that give them eternal life and they will never perish no talk <laughs> this one is even a wonderful no talk can kidnap them away from me so this must be a, a, a new a new translation that even understand what talk and kidnappers are. So now he said that 
talk cannot take us from. So you know what the court talks. So and we know what kidnappers is. It's not even come from Nigeria. At least we know what kidnappers are. What the, how the uh, uh, what the uh, how they operate? So he said that no thug and kid, and, kid, uh, and kidnappers can take it. So that is more, that means that if we what we know him. Now let's look at twenty nine. So that my father who has placed their healing and recovery in my hand is greater than all. No thief can kidnap them away from my father. I and the father are one. We are. One in purpose, character, and substance. We are one. We are one. Ati awa ati baba ajie yoko nino mbubu. So yeye haini pe kun lo muwa funwa. Ki yuwa ati emi. Kobale ni yeye haini pe kun. Bubu nko 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 nka she ni la yeye. Ti awo bawa ni yeye haini pe kun ati so mbubu eno. If we don't have that eternal life, we lost it all. Hallelujah. God bless you for joining us. Uh, Shepherd in charge, Columbus Parish. Uh, spread by this Amos or Johnny Day. I can see you. And uh, that is uh, Mother Celestia Akonde. I can see you too on uh, YouTube channel. And others people that are joining us on YouTube channel, please give us a comment so that I can recognize you. God bless. So, eternal life is not just going to church and being the being robed in all the attires of the church. Then that means that that that, that, that will confide eternal life for you. No, 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 no. Eternal life, he has said it unto us, that the eternal life is what? Is just for us to to know him and to experience him. Ti abati mo, ti o ye bale ti ye wa, ni ba ini amari, gege bi lama, ni gege bi oluwa, tolu balwa, awa fuma ni ye, a ni kwe kon. He confide eternal life unto us as a gift. Hallelujah. So then when we when we go along with him, then we are able to eat from the what tree of life, tree of life. Ara is ara ara is share a tijes washini lati jackini lati j so lati no igi e tifuani ye igi tifuani ye. Don't let us forget that it was the same thing. They were not supposed to eat it and they ate it at the garden and they lost the whole thing. But now, the the real tree of life now is where is inside Christ. Jesus go go to back be again. Oh, to what dig in? So any kind of the big Jesus, to what the big Jesus me, to what the one in Okonwa, to the one in Ayewa. Then he is so young. Go 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 go. How am I shaking? How am I judging? You know what? Ah, oh, 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 lati je lati nu igi iye won wa ni agbara lati je ninu igi iye so ohun lo pe eni to ba ni eti a ri pe ti abati gba jesus ni wa ohun fun are lo ni iye ninu o ti ko na ti di alaye okan we did that as we did that life that came to give us life yes but now this one is eternal life so that is the last one eternal life that iye ai ni pe so let's look at Revelation chapter 2. Revelation chapter 2, verse 7. We are explaining what is meant unto us, what so that our bad ra ko yele yewakwe yani kwe kuta so yi shikwe do pe moti peni nu jo abi moti da banu nu jo. No, 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 no. Abi moti de abi abi bis nu jo lo fweni yani kwe ko ti o batini jesu nyuluwa to lu bale. Tiki bashi shi olonwe. Tiki bashi oluwa o ti sonu. Number two. Ti o patuba ni olonu fare. Kotu niye personal experience with him. You have lost the eternal life. Hallelujah. Let's just look at that verse. Revelation chapter 2 verse 7. Those whose mind are open to the truth. We understand what the spirit reveals to the church. Our what? Our mind has to be open to the truth. And not everybody's mind that is open to the truth. The only thing they want to hear is what appears to them. If it is contrary to what they believe, they tell you, no, don't mind them. They don't know pa. But yes, see what he said in Revelation chapter 2 verse 7. Those whose mind are, is, are open to the truth, we understand what the Spirit reveals to the church. 
those who overcome complete treatment are renewed in love we eat from what from the tree of life which is the paradise of god so another thing we get is that because he lives in us we have power to eat from the tree of life only agbara lati je eso ti won je tori pe ti won pe e ma ti je ni eso yi tori pe o ma fun yin ni iye oju to ko won ti o fun ofi la now we have it in christ that we can go in there and eat and eat and eat as many as we can eat because we are already inside of it's already inside of us so that is what eternal life is all about it's not that when you die you just go there no no you must have experienced it here on this earth only that is a transition only that is more eternal life you will know because you will see it, you will experience it, you will know everything that concerns that. Hallelujah. So, now, what are the conditions? Oh, so, <laughs> that you still need to have to know that you are going to receive eternal life. Peter was asking Jesus Christ, Ah, Baba, I think tell you, ki wa ni ere wa ki nkan ta fe gba ninu nkan ti ti eh ti tele ta tele ki nkan ta ma rinde jesu wa ba so pe bo che o fe mo ohun to ma ri gba now let us look at luke chapter 8 luke chapter 18 luke 18 28 to 30 ha ri nkan ti jesu so fun be luke chapter 18 luke chapter 18 verses 28 to 30 Oh, oh, so go from be 1828. Over some way, ah, she got to fed near to them up there. Now, look at it. Peter said to him, We've left everything and we have followed you. Jesus replied, 29, I tell you, no person who has left home or spouse. Or sibling, or parents, or children to partake of the remedy and be part of God's kingdoms of love. We fail to receive more here and now. That is what I kept on saying that people are serious thinking that until they die. No, Jesus said it that even here and now, that you are continue. An eternal life when all is made new. Hallelujah. Let's 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 look at King James that everybody understand. And Pete, then Peter said, Lo, we have left all and followed thee. And he said unto them, Verily I say unto you, there is no man that has left house or parents or brethren or wife or children for the kingdom of God's sake. Who shall not receive manifold more in this present time and in the world to call life everlasting. Hallelujah. So, if we are not experiencing what we're supposed to experience, that means that the capacity of Christ is not fully inside of us. We must experience it and we experience it life everlasting. So, and what are the what are we going to experience? That number one, we are going to have opportunity to eat from the tree of life. And he said he gave it, it told us that if the spirit that raises Christ from death should be in us, then it will quicken our mortal body. So the quickening, this so what they are here. No Christian law. No, no, this is so what they are. Oh, no Christian, but 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 I go walk. How are they alive? We 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 get transformed. We get transformed as Christ, as the Spirit transformed him from dead and he resurrected and then went up with the Father 
So the same thing happens to us. We ourselves will get transformed. Tabatu wa transform klobatu wa shele. Awano agbe aikuwa. Agbe aikuwa. Aiku taba agbe wa he. Ounlo wa ounlo fwani iji ya ini kweko. Sumo aiku ye ki wa taba ku. La magbe aikuwa. On this earth, in this world, that is what we take, we, we call immortality. We take, the, he said that when the mortals take up immortality, not that when the dead take immortality, it's only Christ that has the capacity to die and still take up immortality. But when we are alive, we have to first have the immortality before we die. If we die before the immortality, before we are now looking for immortality, we have already lost it. So that means that in this world we must have the immortality. And that in me, eh, me, and that in Basma Yewa, Ki Ato Dio, who, that in the Kukosi Kokotale, she, to not see Abawa, who, but that in me, Iyanipekum, Awa, who, Kilashi, Akon, Akon Pala Radani, we are transformed. We are transformed. That is why you can see, see. The dead coming back, telling you this and this. And that is what you need to understand. Oh, hallelujah. I pray that God will give us that power to what? To, to know him and to experience him. That's going to be our prayer point. We soon we start praying very soon. In three minutes, we start praying. So let us look at one more thing that you that is that it conferred on you. So we, we what God still conferred on you, that if we are able to allow ourselves to what to get this eternal life of this world that is we know christ and experience him then we know god and experience god then we will now have the immortality now we have immortality now not when you die not when you die then he said that he will give us bread of life how my John Jetier me, how my John Jetier me, in that immortality, in the spirit of God living in us, the spirit that raised up Christ, if it dwell richly in us, then we will be what? We will be eating the bread of life. Then we eat from the tree of life also. Hallelujah. So let us look at one more, then we now pray. <laughs> so when we have eternal life, then we pray and he answers our prayer. Hallelujah. Oh, he, when we pray, then it makes our prayer to be answered immediately because of what we have intimate relationship with him. Oh, Nilo Lati it bad drag, bad drag, bad drag, bad drag, bad drag, bad drag for a long time. You know that you are not going to pray, you have to pray. That is normal thing. But you are not going to pray for yeah. long before. You side for before you side start understanding what the eternal life is all about. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah! And I pray in the name of Jesus that God, in His infinite mercy, will give us that eternal life when we know Him more and more in Jesus' name. So let us look at Psalm twenty-one, verse four. That is where we are going to round up today, and we start praying Psalm twenty-four. Psalm 24, um, Psalm 21, verse 1, verse 4. Psalm 21, verse 4. Obere, only abere, and he gave it unto us. Psalm 21, verse 4. He asked life of thee, and thou gavest it in. Even length of days forever and ever. Hallelujah. Oh. Length of days forever and ever. He asks life of thee, and thou gavest it to him. Even length of days, length of days forever and ever. That is what we enjoy. That is what we enjoy when we have eternal life. We want to pray now. As we used to say, if you know you have not known him. Because that's the only thing that qualifies to have eternal life. It's not, it's not when you die that you have eternal life. No. Hmm. He said that you have life here. More here. And then you transit there and keep on having it. It's just 
a life that does that will not stop with your death. That is what eternal life is all about. I mean, to bani. So nobody about Ashi ma tu be at ma be be ye lo oni ibe e oni ampe ne e ye ai ni pe ko that is ko ku ni mi wa ye ye o kon o kon ye pada ni a kon ye pala rada ni wa so fun lor ulu wa ni bo ni mo ni bo ni bo lo ku ke fi mo Father Lord reveal yourself unto me I want to know you don't me that the only definition of eternal life is just what knowing God and experiencing it. And knowing Christ and expressing Him, that is the only definition that Christ Himself gave on eternal life. John 17, verse 3. This is eternal life, that they, mo they might know you, the only true God, and me, Jesus Christ, your Son that you have sent. God, right? when our mind is when our mind or our heart is far from him there's no way we can experience god or experience our lord jesus christ but if our heart is open unto him if our heart is open unto him if our heart is open unto him, then we open ourselves unto Christ. We open ourselves unto Christ, then we are going to enjoy the life that He came to give unto us. Package, the last package in the in, in salvation is eternal life. That is, even when we transit on this world, we continue. We can only have it when we know him more. I want to know you. Oh, that man said, so that I can know you. Only through God. So I can know you. Oh, only to know him. More than anything. More than anything. Those, you have to be passionate in knowing him. You have to be passionate to know him. You have to be passionate to know him, to know the only true God, to know the only true God, to know the only true God. Oh, you have to be passionate. Why don't you pray? Why don't you pray? And tell God, Father, come into my heart. God no come in. In Jesus' mighty name, we have opportunity to eat from the tree of life. What is the tree of life? I'm a boy, 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 Oh, Father, connect me with your tree of life. Oh, Tolomba, Toba, Toba, Tlibalaye, Adef, Muki, Wati, Igi, Ede, Pako, Tolipe, Ninu, Christi, Nigi, Yewa, Ti, Abati, Le, Nini, Nino, Kowa, Tati, Nino, Arawa, Haripe, Awa, Niye, Aini, Peko, Father, let the tree of life germinate in my heart. Jeki, Igi, Yere, Oh ya, holwa, jeko soja di lati no komi. Oh, jeko soja di no komi. Oh, can you just open your mouth and pray? Father Lord, I want your my heart to be a living spring for the tree of life. Move back your komi, kuje ori son, fun igi ye. Holwa, shebe for me. Oh ya, badura, this is a prayer between you and your God. 
Ele ki se ki se ru ma be gba abi ti to ma ma gba against somebody else. No. Every package that we have in uh, in salvation are personal things. That's why salvation is individual. You choose to be saved or you choose not to be saved. No matter how many preaching that is going to pass through your ears, if you decide not to agree, that is your choice. But you can choose to agree, then you have the opening. That's why the that remedy said that when you open your mind, oh, let your tree of life terminate into my heart so that I can be one with you. I can be one with you. I can be one with you. Bad right. Ofeki Ofeki Gi, you know, could co jad Latin or Kwa. Kubes ni so sui. Kubes ni so sui yano o ya ba so. Because that is when you can have the fruit of spirit. The fruit of spirit is given by the spirit. Kishi and koto le fiara she. When the tree starts giving out fruit, then you can have the fruit of the spirit. That we have that Galatians chapter six uh, six years. So we can so you can have that only when it starts working in your life. Oh Lord, one more come in. We have fewer commission to be there. Fewer commission orison to be there. Baba fewer commission to orison be there. Oh, fewer commission orison to be there. Oh, in the name of Jesus. We have two more prayer points then we are done for today. It's already 4 p.m. here. Hallelujah. So, to a lot of fewer commission. She is a good person. 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 She is a I re I re I reach all unto you. Bo fi bo bo esile fo. Pata pata lai kukon. Oluwa igba bo mi robo. Oya wano mi lo. Wano mi lo. Wano mi lo. I have given you all. All. That is what Christ is asking. That if you give all, then I will what? Give you eternal life. We have to give him all. Oluwa ije o che kuton. Jo yo koma bak wano nan oluwa. Mo che ton. That is yo mo bo esile fo. That is what is acting. This thing is between you and your God. Ko si o ni ni eni kon to ma wala ni go. Ya to si Jesu. Ni ni o joy ke yi. La ti ti pe ah. O ti boro yi. O lo she. Ko si eni body. To de ma ma zupe ah. O lo a. Ti to ma zupe no 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 no. Be o body. No. You have had it. Then what you say. What you have to do is you yourself. Have to open yourself up to him. O ku yi. She ki me ji kon. Ka mo wu wa si di si ni. Basoro. Sofon o loro. Turn my heart, turn my heart to be your source, O oh Lord, because I've given everything unto you. Move, 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 stay for. Jeki o kome ko je ori so di bere ko o kome ko je bichi wo yo magbe titi lai lai. Olu a shebe, olu a shebe, olu a shebe for me, olu a shebe for me, Baba shebe for me, olu a shebe for me, olu a mumi jogun ye ye, mumi jogun ye ni pe kong ni do pe iwo ni iwo lo ma iwo lo ma fufu ni. Now, the last prayer point for today. He said that it's a gift that Father has given unto him and he's giving you that gift. Now, ask for that gift of eternal life. Eternal life is also a gift that Christ gives unto us. Oh, so for long. That's the last prayer point for today. Oluwa, the eternal life as a gift to your son or to your daughter, let it be my portion. Oh, give out, give it as give it to me. Berefu ebo ye, berefu ebo ye. Oh, wa lo wa lo nati fufu. Ti a oni arawa kuri a arawa di a lai lira. Tumata ba bere fun lo wa lo nku koko kono a lira a lira wa lo wo adero a lira wa lo wo. Oya sofu lo nku kolwa. Help my unbelief, help my unbelief, and let me be able to get the gift of this eternal life. The gift of this eternal life. Give it unto me. Give it unto me. But me, can you show your daughter to the new church? No, they go to the new church. I was listening to uh, uh, a man of God that was saying something one day. He said, a man of God died. And somebody saw that person in the spirit. And the person was just wearing pants. 
won kan o ri ninu emi pe nigbati won kan pe ile lo lo tarara baba re le o ile lo lo tarara pe they saw the person does is only in pint gbogbo oye to gba ninu aye yi was nothing but zero because koni o kan ku fun oye ni koni jesus another person died and that person was they, they saw the person too in what in the spirit and the person went oh with all the full regalia hallelujah that is what we know that he she has shown you no man qualify that it be in your people because you pay who one you are careful but what i was left for god bag it will watch it but i want to go to that in it can surrender a phone roll a book people were slave for but talk but i like one who sure or one father lord we thank you eternal rock of ages will give you glory honor and adoration at that book book but i saw the before because from the one that you gave us this topic that we should run with it for 14 days and you are giving you gave us topic by topic every day that a package of salvation that if anyone is missing in us we have not yet been saved that we should all look for every all these packages all this part of the package and make sure we have that and now the last one you gave unto us that when we believe and when we know you and experience you and when we know god and experience god that is life eternal that is what will give us life eternal i decree in the name of jesus as your children have they have now come to you to know you more give them this gift of life eternal in jesus mighty name eternal life the everlasting life that you said that for people that believe in you not only believing in the lord but knowing you and experiencing you doing everything that you, that you are you commanded them to do that you give them the bread of life in the name of jesus i pray for bread of life for your children in jesus mighty name not only that oh lord i ask for the tree of life the tree of life that when it's inside of us it makes us to have life eternal in the name of jesus tree of life give it all to us in jesus name ko wonu aye wa lati wakati lo fun gbogbo awon to ti bo ati awon to ti ma gbo ni oruko jesus olua ba won pade in every the, for everyone that is listening right now or will still listen in the name of jesus meet them at the point of their need and convert them by yourself live inside of them so that they can know that you are only true god in jesus mighty name we pray amen in Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Thank you for joining us, everyone that has joined us on the Facebook and the YouTube channel for these 14 days. We say thank you for being with us. We really love you. God love you. Jesus love you for all your activities and everything you are doing. Please, we want you to go back and go and study all the 14 days series. They are all in series. There are some times that we listen to a sermon one day and that doesn't mean that we have had all. You still need to go back and keep on listening and keep on listening and keep on listening and then you get more. So if you have not, you can just join us or you can look at look for it on our YouTube channel, Summit Daudu One at that is uh, that's at Summit Daudu One, that's YouTube channel or Summit Daudu or Time with Summit Daudu at Facebook channel. Seven